midsummer approaches, man, we're running up on some heavy deadlines right now, though, which has got uh, myself a little stressed out and the shop a little stressed out. But this is where we do our best work. Right now, we got a couple uh, clients' cars that got to get finished up and um, a boat project or two that got to get done both July 4th, besides our regular stuff. In the midst of all that, we've got our uh, industry awards that uh, we're having to do and get filmed and get those entries sent in. And on top of that, I threw in a giant remodel of the store that we've been working on. So we're trying to finish this all up at once. And our deadline is July 4th weekend, and, and we gotta we got to do what we got to do to bust balls to get it there. Uh, the project I'm working on today is we're adding an audio system to these two wave runners. Um, we're putting a pair of eight-inch Exile marine coaxials on either side um, and a Bluetooth controller with a small two-channel amplifier to drive them. Our goal is to have this project done near the end of the week this week uh, so that the customer has them ready for the 4th of July. Full bumper and both thunders, full thunders, and then the full hood. So <laughs> it's a blast. Things weigh me most on, on the July 4th deadline is the contractor, so trying to get a contractor has been impossible. I finally found some guys, so now i got to push them to be like a, a car audio installer at the 11th hour trying to get a job done. How did it go today? Oh, really well. Really What'd you get done? I got the header frame for the opening for the new door. Are your last day? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Unless they add something in, that will be it. I think the framers are just about done. I think he's done uh, today. So we just need to wait for drywall to come in, which might be a week or two now. They're behind. Since it doesn't look like the sheetrock and the glass will be in to make the deadline on the classroom, Jason moves on to another project. He has another contractor come in and work double time over the weekend to make sure his office is up and running by the next work week. Uh, I like the office. It's a big boy office. I like it. It's been nice so far. Actually, I've already had uh, two meetings in it and uh, with some outside vendors, and I think that they take things a little more seriously when we talk about money. And um, yeah, it's been nice and cozy. It's nice. It'd be nice to get everything finally put away in it, but yeah, it's comfortable. I like it. Since the front room is already under construction, Jason decides to upgrade the client bathroom. The customer bathroom will be completely remodeled with new flooring, painting. I think there's even a new sink going in. I mean, it's just going to be incredible. That'll be such a refreshing change going from kind of a, a real dark kind of cave look to a nice, bright, open, airy feel, which I think is going to be a lot more comfortable for clients to use. I think the remodel's coming along pretty good. I'm excited to see it finished. It's, uh, it's been something that we've been talking about and planning for a long time, but it's nice to see it finally taking place. A 2015 Toyota Tacoma, putting in our remote start and security system. Tacomas are usually one of the easier vehicles to work on, not a lot to really worry about. They did make some of the wires a little challenging to access, but nothing that's gonna keep it from happening. So the wave runners are going well. The 
currently we're trying to get the speaker pods done. We're integrating custom eight inch speaker pods into the uh, vehicle. We had to go ahead and custom fabricate the entire uh, enclosure and the entire mount for the craft, get something that aesthetically looked nice on the craft and was also functional. Got it in a good sound listening location. And we also added this Bluetooth controller right here so that they have their audio source and all their controls right here from this Bluetooth media center. The customer is going to pick them up for the 4th of July so they can go out and enjoy them. And then we're going to get them back and we're going to get them painted gloss black and they're going to look rad and sound amazing. This will be the main controller for the displays. Um, so we've got a Wi-Fi control unit, which is this guy over here. Um, so essentially this will be linked to an iPad through Wi-Fi, which will allow us to control all of these relay banks, um, which will in turn allow us to select different systems to play through the audio displays. Uh, I think it will allow them to um, interact more with the displays, which should increase dollars. Um, I know that some people you know, resell a lot without even turning something on, but I do think a customer, when they're looking at something that's, uh, you know, say two, three, four, five thousand dollars, I think they do want to hear the difference between that and a thousand dollar item. So I think this new display, the way we're positioning it, will help with that because we're selling packages on display and we're just not selling products. So they'll be able to hear the difference between the packages. Between the fabrication on everything, um, the speaker tower enclosures, the, the subwoofer enclosures, the, all the lighting, amp boxes, um, acrylic work, all that stuff, um, which we've gotten a lot of the fab stuff pretty much done. Um, there's still a couple of things left to do, um, but we're just trying to get this up and running for right now and get it ready to go. Um, the plan is to try to get all of this stuff done because um, once that's done and wired, then we can start putting the base panels on, get the um, speaker towers hung, um, get the sub-enclosures sub uh, mocked up and laid out where they need to go, um, and then start tuning everything. The biggest challenge for me has been some of the really big things that I've had to build and try to vinyl wrap and things like that. Uh, most of the time when you're in a working in a car or in a truck or something like that, um, you're kind of limited by the spatial requirements of that vehicle. So most of your trim panels, things like that, don't end up being so large. Um, but even just maneuvering like the sub-enclosures to vinyl wrap them was kind of a chore in itself and get everything perfect. I like the complexity of it, just because it's kind of cool to see a concept from just scratch notes on paper to something this big come together. Um, but at the same time, it's obviously really complex, so there's a lot of thought that goes into it and a lot of time and energy that goes into it. This is something that most shops don't do. A lot of people, or a lot of shops will just buy, you know, a generic prefab display um, that they throw some speakers in, some amps in, and make it sound halfway decent. Um, everything that's gone into this has been top notch, which is what we do in cars. So every, every channel on the display board is gonna be oscilloscoped out. Every, um, Every system is run off of a bit one, so it's all processed, it's all time aligned. Um, all of the enclosures are built to spec for the drivers, um, so it's not just a generic speaker enclosure. Um, so there's a lot of planning that's gone into this to make it sound the way that we want it to, represent kind of how, what things are gonna sound like in their car. Um, plus it's just gonna look badass. Despite the crunch on the remodel, Jason takes the time to work on another project, the Kingpin University website. Um, so it's we, we've been working, or trying to work, and finding time to get our Kingpin University site up has been a challenge. Um, I've been wanting to do an online store for a long time. Uh, we've been getting pounded with phone calls for classes, more information on classes, and the products that we sell, and we just got five new products in. And so... I just spent the last three days, 15 hours the last three days, and just uh, got up an online store, which uh, should uh, calm down the phone calls or at least the amount of times that we have to call people back and talk to them. What comes up is our actual online store, and it's going to be an area where you can find information out of all the classes uh, that we offer, including uh, the deposits for the upcoming classes in October. It's going to be all our uh, templates that we manufacture on the website for sale and along with some installation parts as well. So far, so good. 
we got we got an order within the first two hours being up. So obviously it's worth its time now in gold. The construction remodel has been fantastic. What a my goodness, what a huge change that's made in such a small amount of time. You just carve a giant hole in a wall and you hire a couple of guys to redo the bathroom and it's amazing how quickly things actually move forward. Another addition in the remodel is mainly for the employees. I am trying to rent a scissor lift so we can get our big ass fan. Say that one more time, I'm sorry. Uh, a 20 footer, 20 to 22 feet, whatever you got. These top ones here are not like as tight as I can get them because I didn't know how you wanted this. Well, I don't know if they're supposed to be tight, tight. Zane's installing our big ass fan. Yeah, I can read. Um, yeah, solid's good. Solid's, oh. So, we just gotta let it sit. Yeah, we, yeah, have a little patience. Maybe. It may have taken a little longer than expected, but the team seems to be pretty happy with the big ass fan. Holy shit. Uh, the landlord had basically scheduled a bunch of maintenance stuff to be done this week, which just so happens to be the week that we're doing our giant remodel up front also. So not only are we remodeling inside and installing the new display and getting all that stuff done, but we also have... Uh, today they're removing a lot of the trees from our parking lot. But it's good because the trees they're taking away will actually... They usually have a lot of sap and stuff that can drip on cars and stuff, so it's better in the long run. And then later on this week, they'll be repaving our parking lot and restriping it and um, clearing out the gutters and painting the outside of the building. And there's like a million different things that are going on all in one week just by complete accident. Yeah, it's loud and distracting a bit, but not too bad. <laughs> uh, this project's actually just about to wrap up for the weekend. Kind of behind a little bit because the uh, the paint shop won't be ready for it. set it up so the customer can use it for the weekend and then we'll uh, reacquire the craft after the weekend and uh, get it completed for them but at least it'll be usable. Uh, customer's supposed to come pick this up just about as, as soon as we can call him and tell him that everything's ready to go. And as soon as John's done with the wave runners I'll have him call the guy with the uh, wave runners. Is he dropping off the Ferrari when he picks up the Wave Runners? No, or? dropping off the Ferrari on next Saturday, not tomorrow, but the week of tomorrow. Okay. So it's the 4th of July and uh, a little disappointed. Uh, with contractors and all the delays in construction, we tried to finish up the project that we're really close. I am very happy that we got all the client cards put out. So now it's time to go have some fireworks and enjoy the night. This is the big guy.
So coming up in October, we have another uh, Kingpin University training event. And one cool thing about getting done with phase one is that we can really see the structure of how the classroom is coming together. As we move forward into phase two and phase three, the classroom will be finished up for our October training uh, events for Kingpin University. So those will be really nice to be done, have everything set up so that we can be fully functional for that event. Well, it'll be pretty rad to have a, a designated classroom area. TJ helped me the other night. And we finally got the new saw up and running. We haven't cleaned everything off because we're just so slammed with jobs right now. Uh, but we'll get to it today. But the cool part about this is the uh, metal framework that we designed and built. It's all self-leveling legs, and there's a platform that the saw self-levels on. So um, this allows us to add more bracketry and stuff into it, but it's easy to tear apart and move if you have to. But the coolest part about this, I'm so happy because with Kingpin University and having guys in here, I don't have to worry about them lopping a finger off with a saw. It is a saw stop, and what happens is when it touches flesh, the blade drops and an electric brake goes on it. Um, so I can feel much safer having classroom time in here with everybody. So pretty much all we got left to do in here is clean up from our giant mess of putting this in, and we're ready to rock and roll. So as you can see, our uh, training room is almost done. Uh, we got a small delay with the glass that's on back door that would cover the area that you would see right there. And then once that's installed, we can get the carpet, the trim, and the paint done in here. Uh, we'll be still open in time for our Kingpin University event in October. So we're looking forward to getting all the stuff done, finished up in here. The store has been in a remodel like a constant remodel, just because there's always changes. As soon as it gets done, it's, all right, let's change it up and do something different. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the new uh, displays, though. <laughs> uh, everything was built from scratch, so um, there's not really anything of it that I'm not proud of. Um, I really like the way that the speaker enclosures turned out um, with the 3D chamfered edges um, tied in with the acrylic lighting. Um, I think it came out really cool and I think it gives that high-end feel. This isn't really for customers to play with since it's pretty in-depth on the way things work. Um, but essentially we have two different iPads here. Uh, one is set up to control the audio system through Wi-Fi. Um, so you can do all of the switching for the different systems through the iPad here. Um, the other one is our audio source unit. So that's what actually gets audio into the display boards. Um, and we've got our controllers here for the different processors that are used in the system um, to be able to switch the different presets. I think one of the things that's really amazing about the uh, new display and the whole remodel project is the way that we're going to be able to market that online to our clients. So through our blog, uh, blog postings, we'll be able to get those up there and be able to give them kind of a virtual little bit of a tour of the things that we've been doing and why we did them. I think it's really important for our clients to be able to see the thoughtful process that we go through, through every aspect, not only working on their car, but also setting up our showroom to give them the best experience possible. Ta -da! We go together. I'm trying to do a takeover here. God, can you be professional for five seconds? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, <laughs> that was a giant bug. <laughs> did you get scared by your watch? I did. Oh, bacon. Mm. Uh. How are your summer projects coming along? Um. I don't know. No zip ties were harmed in the making of this film.